Hey, Future CPA, it's Brian Kessler here. And today I wanna to talk about, is it worth becoming a CPA? And let me tell you, I'm hanging out here in North Carolina where I am a licensed CPA and things are looking pretty good right now. So in today's video, we're going to be discussing some statistics and some case studies of real people in my life who the CPA exam impacted. And I want to really show you what is possible as a CPA versus a non-CPA. So let's get started. My name is Brian Kessler, and I help smart accountants pass the CPA exam no matter how busy they are. My ultimate goal is to get you from stressed to performing at your best, no matter what CPA review course you're using. Welcome to Ultimate CPA Exam Guide. All right, future CPA. So let's start off with some statistics. So how many CPAs are there versus non-CPAs? And I looked this up, according to the US Bureau of Labor, there's about a million and a half accounting positions available in the US economy. And if you compare the number that NASBA shared, there are currently about 600 to 650,000 active licensed CPAs, one of which is me. So when you take a step back, that's about 40% of accountants are CPAs and 60% are non-CPAs. Now, thankfully, the barrier to entry to become an accountant is very low, and it's easy to get a bachelor's degree and then go start working for a company, uh, whether it's in public accounting or private or even the government. Um, the, the barrier of entry is very low, and you'll make a decent wage. You'll make a living wage for sure. Um, now, without the CPA, there's one key word, one key difference that I see, and that word is freedom. So passing the CPA exam, it gives you the freedom to easily jump up the ladder at your current job, easily jump industries in, from private into public or public into private um, or into governmental or the FBI into a PhD program. Whatever you want to do with your career, the CPA is going to open a ton more doors than you would have ever had as a non-CPA. Now, obviously, the barrier of entry into passing the exam is very high. It's a very difficult exam, but that's by design. They want people to struggle with the exam. They really only want the most persistent accountants to pass the exam. And so while the fail rate is, it hovers around 50% per section, it is possible to pass this exam if you know how to study right, if you have the right study tools and the right resources at your back. And this was something that took me a long time to figure out. So um, just to use myself as an example, this is actually the 10 year anniversary of me losing my first job due to the Great Recession. So my firm, they laid off 20% of the firm just across the top without any warning after busy season was over due to the, uh, the Great Recession. And the number one question I asked myself that one day when I lost my job was, why me? Why did they pick somebody who did great in college, was getting good reviews on every audit, why did they pick me to be let go? And the answer was simple. I made myself an easy target. I was one of those 60% who hadn't passed the CPA exam. And the two people in my start class I got let go were the two of us who had not passed. So it was all my fault for setting myself up to be an easy target for the partners to pick to, on who to lay off. So passing the CPA exam is a great way to recession-proof your career. Now, fast forward about a year, I went from being unemployed to working in private to passing the CPA exam. So my current position um, that I found after, during the Great Recession, it wasn't the most glamorous job. It was basically a client accounting job. I was closing the books, posting journal entries, just typical entry level accounting stuff. I enjoyed it. I, I really enjoyed it. I liked learning new accounting. I enjoyed the people I worked with and everything. But once I passed my CPA exam, I asked for a raise. I didn't get it because the CPA wasn't required for that position. And so that forced me to either stick at a dead end job or to pursue something else. So I jumped back into public accounting. I got a job at PwC. And then I worked there for a couple years, decided public accounting wasn't for me, jumped back into private industry. And uh, each step, I was significantly increasing my annual salary. And just think if I hadn't passed a CPA exam, I probably would still be at that dead end accounting position, maybe made manager by now, who knows? It would require years and years of hard work to prove myself. And without a CPA, it would have been very difficult to also jump to a different company at the significant salary increases that I did as a CPA. So just something to consider and using myself as a case study. But here's another case study. So my dad, he was an Elijah Watt sales winner, which basically means he passed in 1984 with a perfect score or one of the highest scores in the nation. 
Um, and so instead of going the public accounting route, he went into banking and was basically, as a CPA, promised the president job of the community bank he was working for. And he's since gone on to become CEO of community banks all over and is now on the board of a very major bank. And it was all because of him passing the CPA exam, proving to his bosses he had what it took to run a bank. And it has paid dividends for his entire career and even into retirement. So that's, again, another case study of the power of the CPA license. And so take some of my buddies who I worked with. They went a completely different route than I did. They went from big four and then made manager and then now work for publicly traded companies in the private sector. And now they're making multiple six figures a year. And it was all because they had passed the CPA exam, which got them their promotion to senior and then manager. And then boom, they're in the private sector again, earning multiple six figures a year. So it's all about how much freedom you want to have in your career if you want to pass a CPA exam. Now, I know other people, they took different routes. They went from public into working for the FBI. Um, so you can also become, go into PhD programs, become a teacher and easily make six figures a year. And you know, you got your summers off, it's a pretty cushy deal. So again, there's a lot of power in passing the CPA exam. Now, is it a requirement to become a CPA? Absolutely not. You can still have a very good career, but when the recessions come, when economic tur turmoil comes, the non-CPAs are always the first casualties when the big layoff happens or the big merger happens. So I just honestly want what's best for you and your career. So it does take several months of commitment. It could possibly take a year or more to pass a CPA exam, but if it's something that you are craving, if you want more freedom, you want more salary, you want more responsibility, you want to become a better accountant, passing the CPA exam is by far the fastest way to accomplish that. So I hope this makes sense. I really hope that you see the value now in becoming a CPA and that all the turmoil and the struggle that it is worth it. And if you'd like to work closer with me, I'd love to personally help you pass a CPA exam. So when I was unemployed and I hadn't passed any sections of the CPA exam, I found that the key to passing, the key to my success was finding a band of brothers to really surround me, teach me, help me, and coach me on how to pass the CPA exam. And I've actually made it my life mission as a CPA to create that exact same experience for other CPAs. So if you're somebody who's struggling or somebody who wants to get ahead of the curve, I'd love to personally mentor you and help you, um, teach you exactly what it takes to pass the CPA exam and give you a head start so that you can pursue this career of freedom increase your salary, provide more for your family, and ultimately get where you want to go in your career. So if you'd like to know more, please apply over at freecpaquiz.com. It's a quick quiz to take to help me understand how you learn best so that I can provide some really tailored training for you and um, give you all my resources that are available to help you and coach you on your journey to pass the CPA exam. So thank you again for watching, and I'm really excited to help you pass the CPA exam. Hey, future CPA, welcome to my office. If you enjoyed this video, here's what I really want you to do now. So if you go to your browser or go above and below this video, there's going to be a link called freecpaquiz.com. Highly recommend you check it out. It's going to take you to a study personality quiz. So I developed this quiz to mirror the exact same questions that my mentors asked me when I first started working with them to help coach me and mentor me on how to pass a CPA exam. So I learned you know, what changes I need to make, what fluff I need to be cutting out of my study methods, and a whole lot more. So I'd love to personally help you, and this is by far the fastest way that I can get you the help that you need by just sharing a little bit about your situation Situation, how you learn best so that I can provide tailored advice based on your specific situation. So don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it, and I will be catching up with you in the next one.